Morning Year 4. This week in maths we are looking at coordinates and in front of me here I have got a coordinates grid. As you will see it is numbered along the x-axis from 0 to 10 and numbered up the y-axis again from 0 to 10. You will remember that 0 is very important and you will remember that the numbers appear exactly beneath a line. Not between the lines, as you might see on a bar chart, but absolutely underneath the line or absolutely next to the line. So those numbers relate to that line, not the space. Now I'm going to mark a little cross somewhere and you're going to help me work out what coordinates that cross is on. And I wonder if you can remember which order we read our coordinates. So first of all, I'm going to put my cross here. So you need to tell me the two numbers that relate to that cross, starting with the X axis. We go along the corridor and we've got to number six and then we go up the stairs and we've got to number three. So the coordinates for this cross are six, three. And we would write that in brackets as six, comma, three. Close brackets. Okay. Now that is not three, six. If it was three, six, it would be a long three, up six and it would be up there and that's a very different place on our grid isn't it so you've got to remember to read the x coordinate first followed by the y coordinate right let's do another one where is this coordinate marked please give you time to find it see if you can beat your teacher So we go along the x-axis till we get to the number directly below it, 9, and then we see what y-axis number it is next to, 6, so this is 9, 6, and we remember to put it in brackets, 9, 6. Right, next one for you to beat me to. What are the coordinates for that one, please? You got it? I'm going to wait till you've all written it down. You should have written three. Next one, what are the coordinates of that cross please? Well done if you've written two, four. Okay, here's a slightly trickier one. What are the coordinates? of that cross. Mm. So we've gone along the corridor four, but have we gone up anything? Have we even gone up one? Ah, remember we said this was a very useful number. So we've gone along the corridor four and up zero. Four, Zero. So another tricky one like that. Write down the coordinates of that one, please. Well done. Eight, zero. So what about this one? What if I was to put my cross here? 
remember we need to go along the x-axis first if we can before we go up the y-axis very well done if you ended up with zero six we went along nothing to be underneath that one just zero but we went up six so zero six okay so that's coordinates now a fun little game i would like you to try once you've had a go at those and by the way i'll put this grid on our year three four web page but you can make your own in your book it's just using the squares of your book and numbering them properly but i'll put this as a pdf on our web page Here's a little game that you can play called Battleships. You do need somebody else to play with this with. It's a bit boring on your own. And you each need a grid and you need to keep them secret from each other at first. So mine are next to each other, which wouldn't work in my game with my imaginary friend. But let's say this was my grid. Myself and my partner would decide on what size battleships we were gonna allow each other to have. For example, in my game, I'm going to say we can have one single square battleship. So I'm going to draw one of those on. We can have three double square battleships. So I'm going to go with one there, two, this one's going off in a different direction. That was not a good straight line. You can use a ruler if you've got one. So I said we'd have three doubles. I'm going to put a sneaky one up here and then I'm going to say we can have two triples so that's one of my triple square battleships here's another of my triple square and I think we're going to say we can have one four square quadruple square I'm going to put one here now my partner will have done the same on their grid. So they will have given themselves one single square, two double squares, but I don't know where they put theirs and they don't know where I put mine. Okay, so you've done that in secret, but you've agreed the same number of squares that you're gonna use. You then take it in turns to call out a coordinate to try to hit your partner's battleships. So for example, my imaginary partner, let's call him Bob. Bob says three, two. He wants to try to see if I've got anything on three, two. Remember, he can't see mine. So I say three, two, miss. He's missed it. And on his grid, he might mark three, two himself and think, right, well, I've tried that. There was nothing there. Then I take a turn to try and get one of his and I would hit or miss his. And then it's his turn again. What if now he says eight, two? Eight, two. Oh, he's hit me. So I have to say hit. And he thinks, ah, right, hit, right. He then thinks, hmm, have I hit a single square or a double square? And he might try more coordinates in that same area to try and get all of my battleship. So he might say, Hmm, nine two and I'd have to say hit and then he might say ten two and I'd say haha miss but then he might say seven two hit and then he might really get clever and say seven three hit now all the way on his he's been keeping an eye of where mine are so he's thinking ah I know how to make that into a full rectangle now it's going to say eight three hit nine three hits and then i'd say hit and sink because he's got all of that ship now remember we've been taking it in turns so i might have hit and sunk one of his battleships by now hopefully okay i hope that game made sense it's a bit tricky to try and, try and explain two players uh, gameplay whilst there's only one of me here but there's all sorts of fun things you can do with coordinates. You can make a treasure map and try and work out where the hidden treasure is. All sorts of things you can do when plotting coordinates on a grid.
Okay, have fun with that. Bye for now.